injured in an accident that was not your fault, give us a call right now. You can find out if you have a case and how much money you can potentially get. Thanks, Sal. So is that what people want to know if they have a case, if how much money they're going to get? That's what I would want to know. Do I have a case? How much money can I get? The accident that happened can't change, but how much money you receive can. So I encourage everyone watching at home, give us a call right now and find out how much you can potentially get. Thanks, Sal. You guys heard it here first. Take advantage of this amazing opportunity and call now. is KCAL News Mornings. Good morning. Today is Wednesday, September 11th. Thanks for joining us on KCAL News at 5 a.m. I'm Chris Holmstrom. And I'm Kalina Estrinos, and we're on Firewatch all morning long. Here's what we're seeing across our region. An apocalyptic scene right now in Brightwood. We're covering the bridge fire this morning. This is as a fast moving fire is forcing people out of their homes and we've seen flames hitting the Mountain High Ski Resort. And meanwhile, the, take a look at this. This fire jumps the county line from the OC to Riverside, and it's also hitting the Lake Elsinore neighborhood. A lot of that area, rubble and ash. We've got a live update on this report as well. It's crazy. We have so many trees and some brush around the houses, and with these hot embers, look out. And police say they now have in custody the person responsible for sparking the line fire in San Bernardino. And here are the three fires impacting tens of thousands of people across four SoCal counties. You could likely see smoke right from outside your door. There's the airport fire that's on the bottom right hand side of your screen. That one's spreading from, spreading from Trabuco Canyon, the bridge fire in the San Gabriel Mountains. Then there's the line fire in the San Bernardino Mountains. That one threatening Big Bear Lake. We're also keeping you updated on the firefight progress, the evacuations plus weather and road closures. Yeah, we do want to begin right now with KCAL News reporter Rick Montanez joining us live right now in Wrightwood. And Rick, you spoke to a fire official earlier this morning saying that area specifically, they are prepped when it comes to wildfire evacuations and almost as if they're used to it in that area. Right, it's something that they prepare for because it is a mountain community. There are uh, only a few roads in and out of here, so they have to be prepared for something like this. Look at what is behind us right now where you can see the uh, mountainside on fire this morning. And a lot of it, you see some flames, you see trees burning, but also a lot of what has already burned and where those hot spots are left over. That is, of course, very dangerous. The fire department was telling me because, uh, you know, if that stays hot even into the day when the fire has burned to a different area, those embers can still come up and spark more flames in other parts that have not burned yet. We also uh, can tell you that they are on structure protection at the moment. So there's a home that is here that they are in front of, they are watching. Uh, we've also seen overnight, you're looking at this video here where there have been flames dangerously close to a lot of homes. We understand that several homes have, uh, have caught fire, uh, whether they're just damaged or destroyed, that remains to be seen at this point and the exact number number affected still unknown but at least a handful of them according to San Bernardino County Fire. Uh, we also know that there were a lot of people in this community that needed help getting out as the flames charged toward here uh, overnight and uh, late yesterday uh, but they say because the community was so prepared that a lot of people who needed the assistance were able to call for help ahead of time so that uh, fire officials uh, the sheriff's department they knew which houses to go to and who they they needed to pick up and get out of here safely and they were able to do that but it is wild when they talk about how this fire moved into the area listen to this right so as we watched the fire yesterday afternoon we saw that consistent north to northeastern growth of the fire however once it approached highway 2 the canyon winds took a section of it and literally exploded it into the community of Wrightwood that threat stayed with us through the overnight hours with very high winds. The fire was burning on both sides of Highway 2, so it's on the canyon walls with this back burn down into the community that continued to present threats to neighborhoods as it worked its way east. 
So now.